The Ugly Vegetables is a realistic fiction text. It is a story that could really happen. As you read, look for characters who act like real people and a problem that a real person might have. Let's meet the author and illustrator, Grace Lynn. The Ugly Vegetables tells the true story of something that happened to Grace Lynn when she was little. The book caused a big problem in her family because she didn't include her two sisters in it. They made her promise to put them in her other books, which she has done. Dim Sum for Everyone and Kite Flying are about a family with three girls, just like the Lind family. The Ugly Vegetables by Grace Lynn What can you learn from planting a garden? In the spring, I helped my mother start our garden. We used tall shovels to turn the grass upside down, and I saw pink worms wriggle around. It was hard work. When we stopped to rest, we saw that the neighbors were starting their gardens, too. Hello, Irma, my mother called to Mrs. Krumerine. Mrs. Krumerine was digging, too. She was using a small shovel, one that fit in her hand. Mommy, I asked, why are we using such big shovels? Mrs. Krumerine has a small one. Because our garden needs more digging, she said. I helped my mother plant the seeds and we dragged the hose to the garden. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mickey. I called to the Fitzgeralds. They were sprinkling water on their garden with green watering cans. Mommy, I asked, why are we using a hose? Linda and Mickey use watering cans. Because our garden needs more water, she said. Then my mother drew funny pictures on pieces of paper, and I stuck them into the garden. Hello, Roseanne, my mother called across the street to Mrs. Angel Howe. Mommy, I asked, why are we sticking these papers in the garden? Mrs. Angel Howe has seed packages in her garden. Because our garden is going to grow Chinese vegetables, she told me. These are the names of the vegetables in Chinese, so I can tell which plants are growing where. One day, I saw our garden growing. Little green stems that looked like grass had popped out from the ground. Our garden's growing, I yelled. Our garden's growing. I rushed over to the neighbor's garden to see if theirs had grown. Their plants looked little, looked like little leaves. Mommy, I asked, why do our plants look like grass? The neighbor's plants look different. Because they are growing flowers, she said. Why can't we grow flowers? I asked. These are better than flowers, she said. Soon, all the neighbors' gardens were blooming. Up and down the street grew rainbows of flowers. The wind always smelled sweet, and butterflies and bees flew everywhere. Everyone's garden was beautiful, except for ours.
Ours was all dark, green, and ugly. Why didn't we grow flowers? I asked again. These are better than flowers, Mommy said again. I looked but saw only black, purple, green vines, fuzzy, wrinkled leaves, prickly stems, and a few little yellow flowers. I don't think so, I said. You wait and see, Mommy said. Before long, our vegetables grew. Some were big and lumpy. Some were thin and green and covered with bumps. Some were just plain icky yellow. They were ugly vegetables. Sometimes I would go over to the neighbors and look at their pretty gardens. They would show the poppies and peonies and petunias to me, and I would feel sad that our garden wasn't as nice. One day, my mother and I picked the vegetables from the garden. We filled a whole wheelbarrow full of them. We wheeled them to the kitchen. My mother washed them and took a big knife and started to chop them. A yow, she said when she cut them. She had to use all her muscles. The vegetables were, were hard and tough. This is Shou Huang Gua, Mommy said, handing me a bumpy, curled vegetable. She pointed at the other vegetables. This is Shen Ze. That's a Tung Hao. I went outside to play. While I was playing catch with Mickey, a magical aroma filled the air. I saw the neighbors standing on their porches with their eyes closed, smelling the sky. They took deep breaths of air, like they were trying to eat the sky. The wind carried it up and down the street, even the bees and the butterflies seemed to smell the scent in the breeze. I smelled it too. It made me hungry, and it was coming from my house. When I followed it to my house, my mother was putting a big bowl of soup on the table. The soup was yellow and red and green and pink. This is a special soup, Mommy said, and she smiled. She gave me a small bowl full of it, and I tasted it. It was so good. The flavors of the soup seemed to dance in my mouth and laugh all the way down to my stomach. I smiled. Do you like it? Mommy asked me. I nodded and held out my bowl for some more. It's made from our vegetables she told me. Then the doorbell rang, and we ran to open the door. All our neighbors were standing at the door, holding flowers. We noticed you were cooking, Mr. Fitzgerald laughed as he held out his flowers, and we thought maybe you might be interested in a trade. We left too, and my mother gave them each their own bowl of her special soup. My mother told them what each, each vegetable was and how she grew it. She gave them the soup recipe and put some soup into jars for them to take home. I ate five bowls of soup. It was the best dinner ever.
The next spring, when my mother was starting her garden, we planted some flowers next to the Chinese vegetables. Mrs. Krumerine, the, Fitz the Fitzgeralds, and the Angel House planted some Chinese vegetables next to their flowers. Soon, the whole neighborhood was growing Chinese vegetables in their gardens. Up and down the street, little green plants poked out of the ground. Some looked like leaves, and some looked like grass. And when the flowers started blooming, you could smell soup in the air. That is this week's story, The Ugly Vegetables. And something that we will talk about with The Ugly Vegetables is our target skill, conclusions. We will talk about using story clues and words or text evidence to figure out more about the story.